Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I will be showing you how to use swap space on a USB drive in Raspbian. And the device I'll be using is a Raspberry Pi 4 because that's what runs my server infrastructure in my house right now. Uh, you know, I, I've been meaning to upgrade to an Intel NUC, but uh, the Pi 4 is actually pretty nice for a basic server if you're just doing Samba and Plex and stuff like that. So to start off, you're going to need to open up the article, and that's linked in the description. This is a very complex uh, thing to do. So once you get the tutorial open, you're going to want you to follow the formatting instructions because I'm not going to get into that here, but you need to format it to the correct file system, and it's pretty laborious, and then you need to mount it to the system. So it should be plugged into the to the Pi and formatted and mounted correctly, and all of the instructions on how to do that are right here. Once you've done that, you know, and you'll have to pause the video to do that, you can come back to here and we will deal with setting up swap in the Pi, because that's what this video is going to be focused on, is just setting up the swap, because, you know, that's something that I can show you that isn't too complicated. The other stuff you need to read, it's just too complex. But this is just easy to demonstrate. So let's get started. So first, you're going to need to SSH into your Pi, or you know, you know, if you're using it like a computer, or you have a monitor and keyboard and mouse plugged into it, you're going to want to access that now. But for me, I just use it as a server. So I'm going to do RPI connect. Now I'm in my Pi 4. So once in the Pi, the first thing you need to do is you need to stop the swap file. So you need to turn it off, and it will say stopping DH. DPHYS swap file. Next, you need to open up the file in the text editor. <clears throat> now, I already use swap on my flash drive, so this is already done, but what you need to do is you need to look for conf swap file, and it should look like this in the configuration file. It's not going to look like this yet, but you need to make it look like this so that the location of the swap file is on the mounted flash drive. And uh, next, you need to go down here. Now, I have a custom size here. Mine makes this this number here makes me have two gigabytes of swap storage but for this tutorial i have it set so you set it to one gigabyte because it's not really necessary to have as much as i do unless you're doing like serious operations but the default is 100 so it will look like this in the file you just need to change that to 1024 and after that you can just save it like so and uh, you know you can save by pressing Control O and exit by pressing Control X. Now from here we need to start up the swap file once again. So if you run the free M command, we can see that our Raspberry Pi has much more swap space. The default in the configuration is 100. Now it's showing us 1,023. Now it's not going to show you 1,024 even though we edited it to say that. And that's just because of how computers work. There's, I don't know why, but uh, that's a lot of swap space compared to what it could be. And that's also pretty good because it means that if you are running, say, Plex, Plex uses a lot of swap. If you're running, say, a torrent server, which I happen to run on my server so I can download stuff passively, that uses a lot of swap space. It's going to have more memory to work with. And the best part is, is because it's running on a USB, you're not going to be degrading your SD card. It'll just run directly off that flash drive. And when that flash drive burns out, you can just replace it. And there you go. So I know this might be a little confusing, but the write up that I have in the description makes everything easy to understand. So just check that out in the description if you feel like this video hasn't done enough to explain it to you. But this is how to set up swap on USB on Raspbian. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.